friends welcome to the next lecture python for lectures on handling uh, we are getting a basic idea how to handle the exceptions and how to raise the exception in python as we know the all languages have the exception handling single also the python have the same and uh, first of all we just want to know about what is the actually the exception handling in any language as we know friends the all languages have with uh, compiler or interpreter facility to which the all code will get the executed as well as the all errors are simply handled by the compiler in pc so when we do some code and we write some type of error such uh, you can uh, you can just say that the uh, error will be an input error or that will be uh, value input error there will be a some type of wrong analysis while we are opening suppose we are opening the file so we need a read permission but if we specify the right permission so it uh, it will be a read write error so these all types of error will be implicitly handled by compiler except for some types if you want to know if or if you want to know centralize on that error that which type of error is actually generated by the compiler and which type of exception should be flow or raised so in this uh, unit we are simply going to discuss about how to handle the any exception into the python it is a simple idea uh, first of all we want to know what is the syntax of the python exception handle so here as a writer i have written the syntax first of all you need a try keyword with and then with the one uh whatever the error we want to raise or whatever the statements we want to uh, give into the exception the ones the error should be written here then if the exception should be raised or our given condition will be satisfied from this part from this part the exception should be go inside this simply we have to write except even then i have written into the parenthesis bracket over keywords friends there is a some types of keywords specified in the python language such as i am writing here i o error value error which type of error you want to raise suppose there is a uh, in input and output error we are inputting the something to the python language but if we have entered a wrong input or output so it will be go into the this part or this keyword will raise automatically the statement which we have written into the this right but if we want to enter any value according to the implicit key that are going to be compiled by the compiler and which value should be exact fitted by the programming code into the which the user have written so the value error will only be specified when we are going to input a specific value to the python compiler so it is not a compulsory because the except keyword itself by default will under estimate all this type of keyword automatically because this keyword when you write with the block of try So automatically, which type of error we want to raise, they will be executed itself. Okay, so it is an optional keyword. You should not write this. It will automatically go into the except part and will raise the error. When suppose there is a an error handling, it should be go into the except part. But if from this try block, the operations are ready to perform, they are not. Should be raised and automatically transfer to the else part. What we do? We will input the else part if if the statements are right or they shouldn't be raised. So if the statement should not be raised, the statement are itself by default right. They should be transferred into the else. 
Python yang harus besar facility untuk hands is no that the else block will be also written individually except with any type of block of statement like i if a for loop while loop. It is a default statement that will be used in any type of in any type of blocks. Uh, suppose there will be such a function. Suppose there will be loops. We should write it individually with that part. So if the statement should be raised, they should be transferred with except block block n. Statement should not be raised. They should be transferred with the else part. So we are going to write here a simple example of the exception handling. Suppose uh, there is one variable f. As we know, in Python we want to open any type of file. We just have to initialize a simple open source. Once we give the name of the file, suppose I give the new file, I am not specifying here any type of extension like new.txt. So when you will not give any type of extension with the file, the file we call the Python itself indicates that this will be a binary file. Python will support all type of binary files by default and all the binary files coding will be implicitly and as well as that will be explicitly handled by the prime block itself. So here I am putting one binary file called new and here I am giving one more called right. Now to the except part, we are writing one simple statement. Three. Yeah. And into the else part. So, 
this type of error should be handled by your exceptions and it will give the message code there. Okay. If I am writing here write code, simply the file will be opened with the write code and the exception should not be raised. If, if the exception should not be raised, simply the else part will be executed. Okay. This is a simple idea how to accept uh, any type of error into the file. There is a one little bit of function, uh, function uh, functionality into the Python code trace function. It will be always used to be the exception in the link. What the, the race function will do? If the error, if the error should be thrown, if the error will be generated, the race function will automatically throw it into the exception part. From there, it should be entered to the particular criteria or the statement which we have given into the Python code. Okay, so we are going to write a simple example here how to raise the function with the exception end. Suppose I am declaring here one variable called a Then I am also will be asked to enter value of the P. 
Same message I have given enter enter. It is not important. This is just a simple message. So I am writing a simple enter keyword on the both this part. Okay. Suppose here, suppose here I am entering value of b two. Okay. Now this statement will get executed here. C equal to ten divided by two. Okay. Simply ten divided by two. Answer five. So what will be happen here? This condition will not be checked because this condition will be only checked where the value of the b should be returned as zero. I am written here the value of the b not zero. Value of the b will be a two. So this part will not be executed. The else part will be going to be executed where the functions should not be raised. And simply it will give the answer of the c is a five. Suppose I am entering here the value of the b is a c. So what will be happen? This part will be get executed and it will raise our it will raise our function and it will be go into the direct this part and give the message code there. Okay. So sometime you will be also used with this raise function. To give an exception rendering, it is very simple to use. The, you just have to raise here into any type of uh, if statement or you can say such type of loops. But in the loops, the raise will not be work perfectly because the conditions will be invariants. Okay, so like the conditions like if case the raise will work perfectly based on the exceptions what you, what we have given into the particular statement. Okay, friends. Thank you. If you have any query, I into my WhatsApp number given this link.